to Super Bowl 50 back in February 2016. There's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the San Francisco 49ers. He's to a couple snaps per game, but you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Here's gone. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I like it. I like it. I like it. From the gun on third down. Gone. He gets this one to Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Yards, and they do convert on third. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. Again, gone. That swung out wide to Sanders. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 43. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on round 43. Now gone. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And it, on first and 10, it's Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Out of the gun. Gone. Able to shake him off. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Shotgun snap for gone. He finds his man. One of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he Now golf on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Ali. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise. On second and seven, Goff. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 13-yard line. The one of the eighth play of the drive. This is caught. And in for the Lions, touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of the game, it's not going to be a great thing for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding how to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. But normally you see three tight ends in the point to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And his kick here is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Charles, even his long field goals become more and more kick. But once the ball was snapped, it just swept away. And boom. Over. Back to throw. Gone. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. First time that they call his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. It's about it. It's they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up. To throw is gone. He's going to loft one deep left side here. 
And this is caught inside the five. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they have a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before. Now at first down, it's Purdy. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, First half. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and I feel hit you little people. <laughs> good run there. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. It goes for a gain of 31. The previous play big on the ground. That one big through the air. Things have jumped up quickly. It certainly appears that whatever their thought process is on the defensive side of the ball, they're one play behind. You know, loaded up for the pass, they hit him with the run. Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners are an end. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. On second down, they'll run it here. A solid run here. It's a pick his way down to the 42 yard line. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Defensively, they were the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with the purple telestrator here, because that D-line has a nose over the center, and it has a two-in defensive end over the offensive tackles. I mean... And they run the option here on first and 10. And a good push up front, and he's able to handle it his way down inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Complete to Taylor on the slam. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another big gain of that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage. One play to go. This on first and goal. And across the chalk into the end zone is a 49 touchdown. A 10 yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have scored again in this third quarter. This time to move out in front. And this feels like something you see more commonly see in a college game. They give it to the receiver down because you count on your defensive front, the tackles into the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said hello. Nowhere to turn here, he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Eric Armstead able to drop it that time for his second sack of the evening. And that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On first down, gone. Throw left side, complete. That's Ali. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? There's gone. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. 
And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Ben Sanders. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Henny, Henny, Henny on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning to get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball down. For on first and 10, gone. Johnson's got it complete. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here. Now gone. Open man downfield is Johnson. Now he'll be out just a yard or two. First down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Desperation time for Goff on four. A desperation heat for the end zone. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well. And they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Hey, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. 